morning everyone happy friday it is april 26th yes <laughs> april 26th and i am about to make some wax melts for today to get prepared for the market that's coming in now two weeks um i have a lot of product more product that i have to make and a lot of decisions that are coming down to the wire on changing some things up but for today i am just going to make the first set of wax melts and i am going to um probably work on more things for on the checklist that i made out because I can't really print out anything until my color ink comes because I used up all my color ink <laughs> so it's on its way and I can't make the rest of the candles the last bit of candles because the wick stickers don't come until tomorrow so I am going to not sit on my butt and I'm going to go ahead and start working on these wax melts. Um, I have to make four sets of 10 because there is four different um, scents to my wax melts. And then once that is done, I will start working on the other wax melt project that I finally developed. But I'm going to use what I can here. Um, I did order some more wax um that should come on May 2nd, so I'll have time to like make whatever I need that I can't make from this wax that I have here. And then hopefully by then all the products will be done, um, will be labeled. I might also label some of the candles today and get that out of the way because I printed out half of the labels that I needed. I got to print out the other half when the the ink gets here. But enough of me rambling. Let's get to work because it's going to be a lot. <laughs> okay, so this is my table if you haven't seen it in the previous. Um, but this is my table. I have my clamshell set out here. I'm going to do Coco Be Mine today. And if I can find space, I will probably do Passion Sunrise too today. But um, for now, I just want to get Coco Be Mine out of the way. 
And then this is the rest of my Tarte wax here. Um, the difference between this wax, if you don't know, and the wax I use for my candles is that this wax is hard. It, it's meant for making um, wax melts. And I was reading that it's also, um, you can also use this one for making whipped wax. So those are the ones that have the, have the decorative um, candles. Like you'll see the, they look like, uh, what am I trying to say? They look like cupcakes or, you know, the dessert candles. That's what I'm trying to say. So um, I was reading yesterday that you can make, you can use that wax to make like the whip that goes on top of the candle. Um, I don't do dessert candles, <laughs> but it was nice to like learn something just in case I just might do them one day. But um, yeah, that is the rest of my wax. Um, this is my tart wax and I am going to do the double boiler method because my pot has my regular wax in it. So because it has my regular wax in it, um, I'm not going to like take on having it come out of there and then having to reload it. So I'm just going to do the double boiler method on my stove. It's going to take a little longer because that process does take longer to do, but, um, it is what it is. Uh, until I see something come from all of this work that I'm putting in. Um, I am sticking with one wax melt melter and I'm sticking with the double boiler method. I'm gonna move into the kitchen to do the measuring out and everything because I have two designated spots because I'm in a small two bedroom apartment so I don't have room to like, you know, put everything in one spot so. Uh, we're gonna measure out here in the kitchen and then we're gonna transport it when it's ready to the clamshells in there. Okay, and then we're gonna take this. There's all the wax there. And we're gonna put it into one. So while that is melting, I am going to um, clean out the other melting pot because I'm going to use both melting pots because I need to measure out everything and then um, measure out the fragrance oil, duh, <laughs> measure out the fragrance oil um, and then I'm just going to sit and wait. Oh, and if you're wondering what these straps are, um, this is my back brace because I have back pain. So standing up for long periods of time now really hurts. So I wear my back brace so that um, I am able to function <laughs> function better. But um, my back brace and then my headphones just to keep me occupied and then whatever noise irritates me because I'm at that age now where noise irritates me. Um, then I just have my headphones on to black it all out so that I could get to work. because I had that happen to me one time. But this 
this is the final, well, not the final product, but this is <laughs> the results of pouring and these will set overnight. All right, so now that the, the wax melts are poured and they're setting and they should be done by tomorrow and then I can make the next set and the next set after that. Now I'm going to label some of these candles that's in these boxes down here. Um, I made all of them except for the 8 ounce Passion Sunrise, which like I said, I'm waiting for the wick stickers that should arrive tomorrow and then I could go ahead and finish making those. Um, but until then, I don't want to keep waiting for stuff to arrive. I want to do what I can because I do have two weeks to finish up everything and get ready. And also, I have to work on how my table is going to look. So, um, that'll probably be sometime next week. I'll start piecing that together. But I'm going to show you the boxes that need to be labeled. So, these are... All the sets minus the top one because um, those are the ones that I have to make but I have three boxes down here and then I have excuse my mess pull this out and I have three of the four ounce here here oops sorry here and here and then I have the two eight ounces down there so I have to put labels on all of them now some of them do already have their labels on so that's a plus that I don't have to do the entire box but some of them are a complete box it's mostly the four ounces um, that need labels on them so I'm just gonna do that and see how far I can get hopefully I can get through all of them they still would need their warning stickers, warning labels on the bottom. And um, the eight ounces need their tags because they have specific tags that come with them. But enough of me talking. Let me start loading these boxes into my room so that I can start putting the labels on them. So that was the end of this video. I have labeled the majority of 
the candles that were in the boxes. Um, there are some that I need to correct and there are some that still need a couple of labels, probably about five different candles. But for the most part, that is done. Wax melts are done. Um, I'm going to close this video out here and I will get back to working on other stuff. But <laughs> until then, you can follow me on Lanesa Marie Candles on Instagram to continue this candle making journey. And you can also follow me on The Silent Torch, also on Instagram. Uh, on Instagram, <laughs> on Instagram, um, for daily affirmations, which should be starting back up soon if it hasn't already. And if you like this video, then please give it a like and hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified when the next new video comes out. Um, and also, last thing, um, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description down below. Be sure to go over there and check it out and help yourself to a candle and make your first purchase of a Lanesa Marie candle. Now, with all that being said, I am done here. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week and show yourself a little more appreciation. Until next time, everyone, this is Tammy saying, take care. Thank you.